Okay, hi again. <laughs> uh, Dave, lawnmower man here, southeast Kansas. Uh, make sure this got this set up right. Okay. Uh, call this an unboxing and uh, shop update and uh, getting started cleaning up my garage. You got to put the truck in the garage. I got all the clutch parts here. Came in the mail yesterday. And I knew those parts were going to weigh uh, 50, 60 pounds, and I weighed it. And this box was 48.8 pounds. And that was delivered by this little old lady in the delivering our mail here in town. I guess they just got to contract to mail it that day or something. But as you see the new rack. I'm going to turn on the kitchen light here. Okay, hopefully you can see that. The new rack and pinion for the car, 07 Chevy Cobalt. It came yesterday. A few tiny little scraps of cardboard in there to protect it. They didn't get too elaborate on that. They just came for the car yesterday. Here's the Half the weight right there. The new flywheel for $134. Got this clutch kit, new flywheel. Here's a disc. Yep. We got it all in this one little box. Of course, here's a pressure plate. Correct one for my Nissan truck. Crammed inside it. There, of course, is the bushing. That's how it came. <laughs> Crammed into this box. Yeah, that's probably just right. Okay. Lineup tool. Pilot bushing. And the new throw out bearing. Have to hope I press it off. This is the new correct throw out bearing. Okay, don't have a shop press to be able to press it off. Brass punch or hammer, or try to do it in the uh, just device. Shouldn't be too hard. I think I did one once before years ago that way. But anyhow, now I'll go out to the garage and start cleaning up. Get down here a little better. Going to get uh, busy in the garage. So by Sunday night, get the garage cleaned out. I hope today. Get started on the truck in the garage. Nice, clean, perfect concrete floor. But it's raining, going to be raining all weekend, I think. So uh, that would be the project. Get the garage cleaned up. Get the truck in there. Over the weekend, do the clutch on the job, on the clutch job on the truck, because um, I'm pretty sure uh, the problem with the car, the bad, the hard steering, it's shot. I replaced a power steering motor. According to the way I was told to diagnose that motor, which was wrong, I replaced that motor. Hundred dollars for that part would have been hundred and a half or more at, at parts stores, but luckily I got it on Amazon. Uh, turns out, pretty sure the problem is this rack pinion assembly. At two hundred sixty-four thousand miles on the car, it did make sense to replace it anyway. The car will be virtually like new again. Just have timing chain assembly to worry about on that car which is not hard to do. Uh, replaced the alternator before in that car, a new battery recently, so uh, it went on a car when we got it. It should last us a good long time then. But that would be done. I just want to make sure it got one vehicle running. 
down to one vehicle, the car, and I'm doing that Armstrong steering routine in the car. It's just like driving a car without power steering. Uh, I just want to get the truck back together, running. It'll have a new clutch master cylinder, a new slave cylinder, and I deleted that clutch damper, and uh, it'll be like like new again. Uh, sure, I'd be glad to get the truck running, driving it every day, fix the air conditioning for this summer, and uh, give the car a rest once in a while. Uh, nice cold air conditioning in the car, though, and we like it. We get out of this quarantine crap, be able to go out, hang out at our favorite junk food joints. A uh, big shout out to those in Pittsburgh, Kansas, because uh, they're really going out of their way to help the public and their businesses. They have the right to stay open. Uh, on that topic, uh, I'd like to urge all uh, the states to keep the quarantine for one more month for safety's sake. They're talking about stopping it. And that's, that's a stupid thing, I think. Uh, better safe than sorry. Let's get this uh, virus kicked in the butt and get rid of it. Uh, just time. Do it right. Uh, especially our, our stupid Democratic governor in this state, messed up as it is, uh, want to extend the, the quarantine. I think that's a good thing. Uh, through May would be okay with me, but that's me. That's what I feel we should do. Uh, we're all entitled to our own thoughts and opinions. Good shout out to someone I, I like to think have gotten to know real good, uh, Shea Bear 1000 and Monkey 1000 down there in Florida. Some days I wish I was living down there. <laughs> Better weather. Uh, getting older, the cold winters here in Kansas. Sure, kicking me in the butt anyway. But uh, like I said, back to the garage, getting it cleaned out, getting it able to work in it. Uh, another upcoming project, I got a frame, ride or mower frame prepared, and a dirt bike frame, got the front half uh, to use. I'm going to make a trike mower. That will be one of my first mower projects. Uh, that project real close, but take precedent too to uh, get the uh, uh, floor lift table, uh, disappearing lift table in the garage and get some concrete poured and new, new raised floor there. I can't cut into the garage floor because it's uh, already at or below grade right now and uh, have a lot of flooding in the garage every spring. So that's why that's being done as well as just wanting a disappearing work table when it's out of use. I'm not tripping over it. Uh, but I got a lot of nifty projects coming up. I don't know if I ever pursue getting a, a formal small engine repair business started like I dreamed of. It don't really matter. I'm going to work on, on uh, stuff that interests me. And uh, working on our own cars is almost a full-time occupation too. Anyhow, coming up on 12.30 Central Time. See y'all maybe Sunday. Toss around the idea of a live stream. Maybe make another announcement. Probably it'll be tentatively scheduled. Be about 7 p.m. Central Time uh, to do that. Not live stream. It's called something else that uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's been a while since I'd done it or watched one, participated in one. So. Uh, a small engine nation gang, uh, Doug Sweener. I think you're in Alabama. Uh, hope you're doing well. I'm looking forward to a, a busy, fun summer. All the guys that I follow out there, uh, Retro Restore, I really like him. I never talked to him or uh, um, messaged him or anything over there. And, uh, I think he's in London. Watched a lot of guys that I really admire and uh, Hope you're all doing well this weekend. Uh, take it easy and stay safe. See you possibly Sunday night. I'll post some more videos on the truck, the clutch, and the car repair. So uh, I'm going to be busy the next several days. Uh, anyhow, later.